Hi, Shelly here from Proactive. I'm going to show you a bent over dumbbell row. So I've got my weights here. I'm going to pick them up, one in either hand, stand with my hips about shoulder width apart, hip width apart, somewhere in there, and then I'm going to hinge. So I'm going to take my hips as far back as I can get them. Once they're as far back as they can go, my chest doesn't need to go any lower. This comes from the spine, okay? We don't want to be too, too low here. So about 45 degrees, hips back. Core needs to be on here so the lower back doesn't get sore or tight. So do that sharp exhale, make sure everything is on. From here, I'm going to squeeze the lats, squeeze oranges in the armpits, and then bring my hands, my dumbbells up just underneath my ribs, okay? I like to think about driving my elbows up towards the ceiling. That tends to activate back muscles versus focusing on the hands, which for some reason tends to put the focus on the biceps, okay? So squeeze every time. It's not a huge range of motion. If you want a little bit of extra stretch at the bottom, you can let the shoulders kind of drop down a little bit so you feel a good stretch, but then you have to reset by engaging, bringing the rib cage, or sorry, the shoulder blades together, and then squeeze the lats here. So you can do a little bit of a stretch at the bottom, but reset and then pull up. If you find your lower back hurts with those, which a lot of people do, you can also set up your hinge with a little bit of feedback from the wall. So you can set up about a foot away from the wall, park your butt on the wall and don't let it come off. Okay, you might need to play around with your foot position a little bit. By doing that, just make sure that you don't lose that position with the hips back. What happens is a lot of times people um, can start to kind of pull the hips under and then the pressure starts to happen in the low back. So you can just touch your bum to the wall and then proceed the same way. So that's your dumbbell bent over rows.